Hi there. I'm Francis Ball and this is Help. I need a gentleman. And by I, I mean you. I'm here to answer your dating questions. So let's get started, shall we? I wouldn't say it's compulsory, but it probably helps. Well, I mean, if he really doesn't approve, then you're probably not going to have a boyfriend for very long if you continue to do it. But um, I, I imagine he'll probably get over it. So go on, indulge your pinkest desires. Try and let him do a lot of the talking. People like to talk about themselves naturally, so if you let them talk a lot, they'll leave the date thinking, oh, well, I really like this guy or girl, because they feel like they've really opened up to you, whereas they've actually just been talking all day. Um, what else can you do to impress on the first date? Recite the alphabet backwards is quite impressive. I can't even do that. I would be impressed by that. I suppose you could... No, don't lie to impress him. No. I guess close your eyes and think of England. I would have to say, one once upon a time, it sounds like I'm making it up, but it was true, um, I went for a walk after a drink and we ended up walking through the Brompton Cemetery, which gave the day a very dark, dark turn. It was quite weird. It's quite peaceful there. You really didn't do anything in the cemetery, just in case you were wondering. I think, as a rule, modesty is important. Um, you know, I love cleavage as much as the next man, but I think you can often get a bit bored of it, and if you reveal everything on the first date, I think, you know, Generally, most guys are going to be like, well, I've got that image stored now, I don't need you anymore. That was Help, I Need a Gentleman. I'm Francis Bull. I hope you found that uh, an edifying experience and your dating ongoing will be, uh, well, your first dating. Yeah, also your cleavage and stuff like that will be covered up.